Oh, there's a couple of questions about you finding artists through Instagram. They want to know how you do that. And then once you find an artist, what is the interaction like? Do you, how do you like, con like connect with them to buy art? Do you send them a personal message? I love that question. I, I you know, when you're on Instagram, when, and I think it's good for a lot of people, a lot of creatives to be on Instagram because the stimulation is endless. And when you see other presentations by other creatives, you, they always have a number of hashtags. Yes. Including hashtag. So if you click on their hashtag, now you go into their world and some are private and you can't uh, get directly into it. You have to ask to be let in, but others are very public and you can see all of their work and you can get a sense of their personality. It's very easy to navigate Instagram, it really is. Dr. G, are you like, for the uh, marquee artist, did you type in figurative art or did you just find him through scrolling? I just, he just appeared. He some, appeared, okay. Yeah. That's the magic of Instagram. Yes. You know, Instagram and Insta. Facebook are all about artificial intelligence. They know more <laughs> than us than we want to admit. Right, uh, and then, how was the interaction? Were you um, reaching out to them through their websites that are usually on their, um, you know, where their name is and then setting up a call? How did you navigate that? What happens is when you go into their website, you direct message them. Yeah. Call the DM and they'll often say DM me because then your inquiry, your introduction of yourself to them is not seen by the whole rest of the uh, interactive Instagram family. So that connects you directly to them. And then you can raise the question, is your art for sale? Do you offer an artist discount? I love that question. Artists should get a discount from a artist. <laughs> 